we did it. We hit the thousand subscriber and I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you so much for participating in my channel, watching, viewing, subscribing, um, all of the above. Uh, the comments have been great. Um, yeah. So this week's video is going to be my giveaway video. I will not probably draw the name at the end of this video, so I give people a good chance to know what's going on. Um, I'm going to pull from all my previous videos, so everybody that's commented before, they're going to be in the chance, and if you want to go back and watch some of those videos and leave a comment, you can do that too to boost your chances of winning and um, along with this video. So uh, you guys sit back, watch the video, and I will give you more information at the end of the video about the giveaway. Thank you. Okay, I've given this a good brush and cleaned it up. Um, my maple burl. I now am gonna take some black acrylic paint and I am going to paint a perimeter around it because I know I'll be turning this part away. I'm not going to mess with painting that. But I'm going to paint a perimeter and also inside this crevice. And then we will move on with adding some chameleon powder um, and um, mixed with some UV resin. All right, so I've not ever done this before, but we're gonna give it a go. The black, black uh, background and paint will help these uh, chameleon powders pop. Um, let me see comes with the brush. Which color do I want? Um, I think it's this one. I think I'm going to do oop, deep blue. Let's see what that one looks like. Oh. going to take quite a bit. Okay, um, and this is the Let's Resin UV resin, the clear hard type. Let me put some gloves on. I'll probably make a mess out of this. Just need to make sure that I don't get it too strong, that my, oh. <laughs> UV resin needs to be able to harden. Oh, it looks like a deep purple. Now it says deep blue, but I think uh, chameleon patterns are supposed to be kind of like color changing. I think it's translucent enough. All right, I'm going to start by just grizzling this on here. All right, so I've cured it for, you know, five minutes on each 
little angle and every side that I can cure it on, it's hard and cured. Now I am gonna take some of my same powder. This little brush came with the intense chameleon powder. And then I'm gonna just go through Actually, I still even have some on this. And I'm gonna go through and kind of just brush a little more powder on the top of this. It just seems so purple. I'm hoping I can bring out some of the blue by doing this. So I was trying to decide since our, my piece is kind of a purpley blue, which color to go with. And I think I'm gonna go with the blue, I think. So this is the Azul Blue by the Less Resin and it's, it's an alcohol ink. Well, I'm just gonna add just a drop or two and build it from there because I'm not looking for a solid color. I mean a deep. All right, let's see what that's going to look like. Just looking for that hint. E one more. No me. I was taking it a bit too far. If I thought they would stay in there swirly like that and not all pool somewhere, I'd leave them. Okay, let me put this away before I decide to put another drop in there. I got quite a few air bubbles that I've stirred into it, but I know I'm going into my pressure pot. So that should press out all those tiny bubbles. And then I'm gonna have a lot of bubbles coming in from the wood. Let's see where this puts us to. All right, guys, so here we are. I've got this glued up. We're on the lathe and ready to spin up and get rid of some of this extra epoxy. I give them a little bit, I do have quite a bit of a epoxy to get rid of here. Well, all the way around. And I hate it that it didn't come all the way up. I thought about doing a second pour, but uh, I just didn't want a witness line. So we'll just knock that off and that's part of the reason I went with the um, uh, epoxy glued on to a waste block so I could keep as much of the burl as possible. So let's get her spinning.
she's a lot smaller than I wanted her to be. And part of that is because of this flat side over here. It was flat and I should have tried to recut it and reshape it. I would have ended up smaller anyway. I just wouldn't have wasted so much epoxy. Which, you know, is going to be a big waste whenever I go to pull out of the middle here. So, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of this epoxy. Try to get my shape a little better on the bottom and then figure out um, yeah figure out where I'm going from there whether I'll go ahead and move to that but it's time to work on this area it is it is it is I'm curious curious to see what that's going to look like. Don't know.
Okay, I'm gonna fill a few little spots with some CA glue. Just because they're kind of more in the wood. for a little bit. Okay, let's go on with some sanding sealer. some sanding paste. to some microfine. able to turn her around and get her bottom off I am gonna part it off here so I can save my waist block for another uh, turning but I'm gonna part it off right around in here and hopefully she don't go flying well I'm not I'll end up sawing it after a bit but yeah then we'll turn it around and straighten out her bottom
tail. Okay, here we are off the lathe. Um, pretty cute little bowl. Uh, some of the things that I really like about this piece is um, the burl. Of course, it's fantastic. Uh, the epoxy staining is a little heavy, so it kind of takes away a little bit of the figuring, but not along the edge. Um, it, it is really cool looking. Um, one thing I think next time I probably won't use the black paint on this piece because uh, it made it a little darker than I had intended. Let me bring you up here and see. I mean you can kind of still see the blues and the purples but that is also due to the little bit of tint of blue in there. Um, I had thought it would be really bright colors in there and maybe I just didn't use enough of the chameleon powder to make that shine a little better. I mean it's still super cute and if it's setting at the right angle as you can see. And this is going to be the giveaway. Um, I hope whoever wins this uh, really enjoys it and um, yeah. So how the giveaway is going to work um, for this first time, because I'm new to doing a giveaway, um, I am going to take from this video and go back to all the other videos that I've published and I'm going to use a program, um, a random picker program, and anybody that's commented from my very first video up to this video. Um, I am going to uh, put, put those in a random picker and have it to pick out one name from each um, video. So it'll be like, oh, I don't know, 50 some, 50, I'm not sure how many numbers I'm up to. Should have looked at that before I started this, but um, I think maybe 54 or 55 videos. So there'll be at least that many names and then I'll put those names into a a random picker um, to select the winner. So because I am going to use this video also in the uh, drawing, I will uh, probably publish the winner on, the, I'll put out a video, just a short little video of who the winner was on next week's video. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. You know, don't forget to leave a comment. That'll get you in to the drawing. Um, if you want, you if you know you just found me and haven't had a chance to leave many comments, you can go back and watch other videos and leave comments there. I won't be doing the random picker, like I said, for at least the six days. I'll probably do it six days from the day this this one is released. Um, yeah, so don't forget to leave those comments and get a chance to win this piece. I um, want to tell you guys again, thank you so much for subscribing in to me, subscribing to me, and um, taking the time to watch my videos. You know, my videos are longer, so it does take a little bit of investment for you guys to, to um, watch my videos. I also want to say thank you um, to my friends and family who have supported me, especially my editor. He is my son and he has spent a lot of time helping me grow my channel, helping me edit down my videos because I'm going to tell you what, my mouth runs a lot during these videos and that poor guy, he has to have sat and listen to his mom ramble forever and decide what part do we keep and what part do we cut out. Um, anyway, so a big shout out to them for helping me out with this, this uh, my channel. Also want to shout out to Let's Resin for reaching out to me 
um, and giving me this epoxy um, to make this piece. That helps me so much. It helps me to be able to open up and do more different things that I might have been a little more reserved about doing. Um, so yeah, thank you to them. And if you guys are interested in any of their products, I've got that link down in the description and I have a discount code for 10%. But let's get back to the giveaway. So go down, leave that comment. Um, if you haven't subscribed, jump on in, subscribe, it's free. Um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share my video with others and help me grow even more. Um, but yeah, leave a comment. Doesn't have to be anything in particular. It can just be, you know, like your video or I don't like your video, but, um, doesn't matter what it is. I am just going to put a random picker on it and draw names that way. And then I will announce that the winner and I'll probably give them a couple of weeks to respond to me. Um, not real sure. This is the first time I've done it, so you know, be patient with me. And we're gonna get we're gonna get this given away to somebody. Um, super excited! So again, thank you so much for helping me grow my channel. We are gonna put her in the picture box. I want you guys to have a great day. Leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the flip side.